So now I want to talk about the muscle characteristics that give muscles strength versus endurance and also speed not shown on this list. So if you look at some of the labels here, these are electron micrographs. Look at the top left one first. Myer fibrils, those little stripes showing the actin and myosin, and then some white areas that are sarcoplasmic reticulum, also in red, and mitochondria. Down in the lower left, notice the T tubules. So sarcoplasmic reticulum here. Down below, the T tubules, and uh, the TTs. If we zoom in a bit, you can see the myofibrils, those little stripes that are showing the actin and myosin with the sarcoplasmic reticulum and gaps in between them and then the mitochondria in the upper left. These are cut at a bit of an angle, which is why you see these sort of odd little stripe patterns and not nice sarcomeres. Notice the T tubules, mitochondria. All of these pieces take up space, but they also all provide something to muscle cells. The T tubules the TTs here, notice that's the cell membrane, so the outer cell membrane going in. The little dots here are because that we've cut through the sarcomeres at, an, at a um, cross-section, and so we're seeing the thicker dots here are um, myosins and the thinner ones are actins. The action potential would move along the cell membrane surface here. It can go down and out, but of course it also can go around. These are like little donut holes down inside, so um, the action potential gets down close to the sarcomeres and that allows calcium out near all of the muscle fibers and of course the closer the membrane is to each individual sarcomere uh, the, the um, faster the calcium is going to get to it. If we look at this image you can see the uh, glycogen granules in here. So glycogen provide a store that can be converted relatively quickly to glucose. So they provide an energy store and cells that have glycogen granules can produce glucose from glycogen faster and feed the mitochondria that they have. Uh, this particular cell has relatively low amounts of mitochondria. It may be converting the glycogen to glucose and just using um, glycolysis with no mitochondria. If we look at this lower right pathway, the darker and lighter stained cells are stained differently for two different forms of myosin ATPase with a faster and slower cycling rate. So um, there are multiple versions. Uh, we talk in humans sometimes about of three types, but in fact there are more um, in lots and lots of animals that ha range from extremely slow to extremely fast. And also my myoglobin content, capillary density, the amount of uh, glycolytic enzymes, all of these also matter. So muscles can be faster and slower. They can be strong and powerful, um, but they're also fast to fatigue in that case. So there's a trade-off between power and endurance. So let's talk about what kinds of things would make a muscle fast. And this is not a complete list because I'm going to want you to think about some of those for yourself. In a big, thick muscle, T tubules, uh, actin regulation, so calcium binding to troponin and moving tropomyosin, that's going to quickly expose actin binding sites. Um, myosin regulation could be slower. Uh, fast cycling rates and fast conformation changes, so fast to change shape at each step, and affinities for very rapid uptake and release. Um, that's not always possible to get both. High affinity may mean you take it up quickly, but you drop it quickly as well. What about for power? So for power, you want to maximize the amount of the sarcomeres, myosin and actin. So maximum sarcomere density low myoglobin, so low storage of oxygen, low mitochondria, few capillaries because you don't want to waste space for the capillaries, minimize everything except actin and myosin. That'll maximize power, but these cells are going to fatigue very quickly. They'll run out of energy, they can't replenish oxygen, they can't replenish glucose, they can't replenish ATP, they don't have mitochondria. 
So what about endurance? So how would you maximize endurance? Well, of course, you need some sarcomeres, but these are mitochondria. So you want to have sufficient mitochondria so that you can always replenish the ATP. You want high capillary density. So capillaries at a high enough density that they can always remove carbon dioxide and bring in oxygen. Um, may or may not have glycogen granules. Depends on the cell. Glycogen granules are sometimes more associated with fast glycolytic, but uh, plenty of capillaries to bring glucose in. High amounts of myoglobin. So high amounts of myoglobin binds oxygen and so myoglobin helps to pull oxygen into cells and creates a brief storage, so it maxes, maximizes oxygen uptake. So here's a question uh, for you. What about rapid calcium reuptake? Does that help endurance, speed of movement, or power? So rapid calcium reuptake. Here's two sar part, pieces of sarcoplasmic reticulum. And these are calcium pumps. So calcium pumps are what are taking in that calcium, so reuptake of calcium. So all around here, these would be moving. And here's one with low density of calcium pumps. So our first one is using a lot of ATP as it takes that calcium back in. But it removes the calcium from the sarcomeres really quickly. Our second one is going to be slow. So what's the effect of that? Well, high rate of ATP use in our one on the left versus low rate of ATP use for low calcium rate of reuptake. Fast end of contraction if you're taking calcium out quickly versus slow end of contraction. These are going to be fast to relax. So with high calcium reuptake, they're fast to relax antagonistic muscles. Okay, That's what makes these fast. So there's a fast end to contraction that maximizes speed of movement. You can contract your muscles quickly with other things um, and relax them quickly. Endurance is worse. Power, probably no effect, but you can think more about that for yourself. Two more for you. What about the effect of no sarcomplasmic reticulum? Will that make them faster, slower, more or less power, more or less endurance? Here's another one. What about high levels of glycolytic enzymes? Faster, slower, more, less power, more or less endurance? 